guys, my name is Samantha. If you are new to my channel, my channel is all about helping and inspiring special education teachers. If that interests you, then make sure to click the subscribe button and hit the little bell to be notified whenever I make new videos. If this video helps you, please give it a big thumbs up. Today I'm going to be sharing my scavenger hunt ideas. And all of these scavenger hunts are linked in the description of this video. We all know what scavenger hunts are, but did you know that you can make them academic with basically any topic? So I'm going to be sharing some of the scavenger hunts that I've created that are all based around math topics because you all know I love teaching math. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a secret. Did you know that you can turn task cards into a scavenger hunt? That's right. It sounds crazy. I know but this is probably my students' favorite activity to do. And as a bonus, it gets students out of their seats. First, I'm gonna show you some addition task cards. So as you guys know, I love to level everything so that my students are doing the same activity just at their own level. So I have addition up to five, addition up to 10, and addition up to 20. What I do is I will hide these task cards around the room. I might tape them on the walls, put them underneath things, and I will tell my students to go look for a certain color. Then I have a recording sheet like this. This is actually my fraction recording sheet, but I have an addition one also, where students will take their recording sheet around the room and they will solve the problems on the task card. What you also can do, you can put this on your smart board and have students Fill this out on the smart board. If they find number one first, they will run up to the smart board and write in the answer to number one. It's kind of a fun way to make things a little competitive. So the options of ways to use task cards are definitely endless. I'm gonna show you a couple different examples. So here are fraction task cards that students can search around the classroom for. And of course we have counting coins. I love teaching money, so here's mixed coins. Here is counting same coins. I have a ton of money task cards available on my Teachers Pay Teachers store. Next dollar up, making change, do I have enough money, counting dollar bills, basically everything you can think of. Make sure you check that out. Lastly, just some other task cards I have are telling time. I hope that this gave you some ideas of ways to use task cards that make it more fun and interactive. Comment below how you like to use task cards with your students. All right, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you grab those task cards if you're interested in the description of this video. Make sure to subscribe and follow me over on Instagram and Facebook under the handle Activiteach and Again, in the description of this video, there's always freebies, so go grab those free math worksheets and join my special education Facebook support groups. Those are super active. I have over 50,000 people total in my five different groups, so go join and get some support there. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy teaching.